I'm introducing another solution for problem 257. Here we have forces AC 600 Newton and the force BC uh, 750 Newton. We're going to find P uh, and the uh, corresponding alpha. So in another solution I use the forces triangle here. I'm going to use the uh, three vectors. I'm going to show the free body diagram of the problem. We have TBC. TBC uh, as a vector uh, with a 25 degree angle with the horizontal line. And then we have TAC. Six hundred and the angle is forty-five degree, and then we have P with alpha. First, I write the e equilibrium in x direction, which is sigma f x equals zero. So. TBC cosine 25 negative TAC times cosine 45 negative P cosine alpha is equal to 0. I can rewrite this equation as TBC 750 cosine 25 negative 600 cos 45 is equal to P cosine alpha. I call this equation equation number one. Then I then I write the equation. Uh, equilibrium direction in direction y equilibrium equation in direction y sigma f y equals zero so t b c sine twenty five plus t a c sine forty five uh, is negative p sine alpha is equal to zero I can rewrite it again TBC is 750 sine 25 plus 600 sine 45 is equal to P sine alpha I call this equation equation number two If I square equation 1 and then add it to the square of equation 2, I will have uh, 750 cosine 25 negative 600 cosine 45 squared plus 750 sine 25 plus 600 sine 45 squared is equal to p squared by solving this equation I can find p p according to this equation is 784 Newton and alpha if I divide equation 2 by 1 I will have uh, tan alpha equals uh, 750 sine 25 plus 600 sine 45 over so 750 sine 25 plus 600 sine 45 over 750 cosine 25 negative 600 
cosine 45 is equal to tan alpha. So alpha will be 71 degree.